What's up everyone, this is Joey, Plus Response, and I just got back from Superbooth. It was action-packed. I had a live gig on the Seabunis stage for Nord, using the Nord Wave 2, my modular, and electrons and some other pedals and effects, as well as I checked out a ton of the gear there, and I'm here to bring you my 10 favorite things that I saw. This is not a comprehensive list of everything that's there, but it's just stuff that I saw that I thought was interesting and want to share with you guys. Before we get started today, I have a special message from our sponsor, Your Music Marketing. Your Music Marketing is a platform that lets you manage your social media and post ads on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube in just a few clicks. So you click on a new campaign, pick two genres, and then enter all the relevant metadata for how you want it to work, including budget, location, duration, and platforms that you want it to be spread on. You'll reach your fans, but also fans of these selected genres, and your campaign will be optimized to have the maximum impact, and you'll have full statistics on it after the fact, so you can see who you're hitting, how you're hitting them, and when, and how much they're clicking and interacting with your content. And they're running a promotion today. If you use the code BLUSH10 while setting up your first campaign, you'll get a month free on their subscription service as well as 10% off. The minimum campaign amount is 50 bucks. So check them out. It looks cool and very useful for these kinds of things if you're looking to grow your fan base on various social media sites. Links for everything are gonna be in the video description and in the pinned comment as well. Check them out. The code is BLUSH10, your music marketing. So let's get looking at it. First one on the list is Arturia Microfreak V5. Uh, Arturia has shown constant dedication to updating and upgrading the Microfreak, which is one of my favorite synths. If you're unaware, I made the original wavetables for it and I've done a lot of preset work for them that's available on their site as well as already in the machine and v5 looks really cool with the addition of granular as a whole I have to say that this kind of was the year of granular in terms of super booth there were a lot of devices from Sonicware, Arturia, Industrial Music Electronics, Tasty Chips, granular was everywhere and it's really cool to see it so well represented because finally we're gonna have access to devices that can do it in such a powerful way so I like v5 I played with it I've always liked the Microfreak sound engine and it sounded great to me. There's a lot of modes, a lot of cool stuff. I will probably review it. Next up, continuing the theme, the Industrial Music Electronics Volkmeyer's Inferno looks to be the best granular module for Eurorack. I used it quite a bit at their booth and I recorded some audio with it, which you're gonna hear very soon. And it just sounded really cool to me. Uh, and it's nice to have waveform representation of your sample in your rack. It's a good size. Uh, I think it's gonna be really cool. Next up is the Tip Top Audio Buchla 296T Spectral Processor, Filter Bank, what have you, vocoder. This is one of the most legendary modules that Buchla ever made, and here it is in Tip Top's Eurorack format. It's gonna be affordable. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited to get into that. I'm gonna get on the waiting list right away because it just looks cool. I've always wanted to try that module, and their modules have knocked it out of the park. Honestly, the 258 oscillator is incredible. I haven't used the other ones, but the sound is so raw, so alive. I can't wait to try the 296. I wanna comment on Tip Top's art uh, protocol. It looks exciting. I hope all the Eurorack manufacturers adopt that because that's really the only way it's gonna work. Uh, I like to see innovation in this space and this is something that could take Eurorack to the next level in my opinion. Next up is the Soma Terra. I feel a bit conflicted with Soma instruments at times because I don't think I'm necessarily the target audience for them. I like sequencing, I like devices that can be automated, and the Somaterra completely goes against that grain. It's something that is meant solely to be played, and in a way that's frustrating because I was playing through the sounds and I thought the sound engine was really cool. But I see that the interface is eminently playable. Like you could touch it, it's extremely sensitive. It really feels dynamic. So I see value in it if you're playing with a band, if you're improvising and you need to just access pitches quickly, play. It, it really does feel like playing an instrument. But at the same time, I get frustrated because I can see the lack of integration. Uh, like with the Pulsar, for example, I've mentioned before that syncing it is a pain. You have to use the reset. There's no MIDI start and stop. Um, and I think like if, if Nord made the Pulsar 23 and you couldn't sync it, no one would accept it. I think Soma 
has created a mystique around their brands for being esoteric instruments and it's very cool but at the same time it allows them to i don't know maybe lack some kind of quality of life comfort features and if you're up for that it's really cool but at times it can be frustrating to operate so if you're going to get the terra be aware that this is an instrument to be played it's not going to be easy to integrate with anything else except playing it on its own with that said it sounded great it was fun to use <laughs> and i still definitely kind of want one so they convinced me next up is the tasty chips gr mega i was really impressed with this this looks like the top granular workstation i mean it's called the granular workstation and it looks like it can just do about everything i got a full demo from them i'm really impressed lots of features uh, i i would love to get my hands on that the fact that granular has taken such a forefront makes me excited for the future of synthesis technology in general uh we haven't had control like this before and sure you could do this with reactor but i'm not here for that you're not here for that we want instruments and this finally separates granular from the computer in a way that feels organic feels easy to play playable and sounds incredible i'm hyped next up i went by fine gears booth and i know the dirt magnet is new but i had never really uh, looked at fine gear before and i was pretty impressed with both the dirt magnet and the mod mix mixer the mod mix especially blew me away there's a lot of potential in that for feedback and all kinds of stuff the dirt magnet's so cool with the tape delay and the sound it all sounded fantastic we're running an analog rhythm through i was blown away looking forward to maybe review those in the future next up is the lambda synthetics poly pulse the poly pulse looks really exciting it's a new groove box with all kinds of synthesis you have fm physical modeling virtual analog drum synthesis sampling i'm excited for this because i want someone to enter the groove box space because we need more competition there beyond just akai and electron and roland we need some startups who are willing to take risks on design not make safe products that are going to sell a lot i want to see things that do things a bit differently that force us to think differently and i see a lot of potential in the polypulse with its touchpad morphing it has dedicated controls for each voice i was talking to the owner of the company and i asked him like a laundry list of questions i had about the device and everyone he had a good answer for it seemed well thought out on every level he thought of everything and and i'm really impressed i think the synthesis engine sounded great i i was really really impressed with the design there was one thing though that i found a little disconcerting uh, which i think might have to be addressed is that he was demonstrating the physical modeling voice for me car plus strong and it sounded awesome but i it was i was only hearing the carpless strong voice but i noticed later the cpu was at 40 percent now i'm not sure if running just that voice was 40 percent or if there were other voices running that were just muted and it all together was 40 percent so i think there's going to have to be some clarification on that because if you have one physical modeling voice taking 40 percent of the cpu you're not going to be able to do anything but it could have just been that that was a soloed voice and everything else was running at the same time we'll have to see Either way, I think the overall design of the machine and approach is something special and new and refreshing, and we need more stuff like this. We need competitors to Electron, Roland, and Akai. We need people to make them step up and innovate, and this looks quite innovative. Next up, I went by PWM's booth. I They released the Malevolent recently, and now they had the Mantis synth, the last synth by Chris Huggett, who designed the Wasp and the Oscar and a lot of stuff for Novation. I was blown away by both of these synths. The Malevolent, which I hadn't played before, uh, and I was kind of avoiding because I was like, oh, it's the obviously industrial synth. It's marketed directly to me. I was like suspicious in some way, which is silly, but it sounded huge, really, really powerful. Uh, I, I was instantly like, all right, I get it now. And the Mantis is more on the digital grunge side of things. And the, the oscillators really reminded me of the Oscar, which would make sense because it's the same designer. But I felt that it, it wasn't an imitation of that sound. I felt it really captured that sound. I played an Oscar quite a few times. I think overall, this company knows how to get things harder and we like things on the harder side here. So I'm impressed with their offerings. Looking forward to maybe review those. I'm 
really digging it. Next up on the list is the Erica Synths Steam Pipe. Erica Synths are heavyweights in the field here. I have to say that they keep on blowing people away with crazy devices like the Centrix, the Percons, and I think the Steam Pipe is another epic addition to their lineup. These guys are at the top of their fucking game here. The Steam Pipe is physical modeling. It sounds incredible. I recorded some audio of it. You're gonna hear it here, and there's bigger clips of it that will be up on the channel and it just uh i'm so happy physical modeling is back i love the prophecy the vl1 ex5r the technics wsa which i've reviewed like this technology has been gone for too long mutable uh mutable elements brought it back and there's been a bit of it here and there with modal synthesis stuff from the Intel Joe Planck and all, but the steam pipe takes this all much further. And I'm happy it does because I was getting a bit bored of the modal synthesis stuff. Like, okay, we get it, it's cool, but let's move on to something else. The steam pipe is the next level. It's gonna be fucking sick. I can tell you right away, I was blown away with the sound. And it was quick to understand what was happening, the play between the delay line, resonator, and the noise source, and uh, yeah, just really cool, really blown away. I would love to spend more time on it. Now, number one on my list and best in show is the Make Noise Sound Hack Spectrophone. Oh my God. Additive Resynthesis Spectral FM Dual Oscillator that can process external audio and sound fucking insane. There's already been a video posted on my channel, but I'll insert a little bit of that here just so you can hear it right away. Wow. Just wow. Make Noise again, dropping bombs in the Eurorack world. Every time they drop a Tom Irby module, it's a game changer. The Irby Verb, the Echophone, the Mimiphone, the Morphogene, all insane. This one continues that legacy of Make Noise, pushing things forward, inspired by the greats of synthesis like Buchla and Surge, and taking design, playability, and everything to a new level. I'm gonna review it soon. Incredible. That's all I have to say. I was constantly had my jaw drop while playing it it just sounded so beautiful i see potential for aggression the external processing running a morphogene through it was like wow it's sick and a story best in show for me wow <laughs> I want to take this time to thank you all for watching my channel this year, helping it grow. As always, it, we're in the middle of the year, but it's grown a lot, and I appreciate all the feedback and appreciation you've shown me. Thanks to everyone who supports me on my Patreon. I have some new announcements. As you know, my album Neuroscape has been out for quite a bit with collaborations of Bon Harris of Nitzareb and Richard Devine. I appreciate all the positive response to the album. Uh, check it out if you haven't yet info above, uh, as well as my project Hakai uh, with Yagoda. My partner is, uh, we have a new EP called Digital Threat that's up for pre-order now on cassette and digital. Uh, and I have some touring announcements. I'm gonna be going on tour with Frontline Assembly starting next week all over Europe. We're hitting a lot of places in Germany. We're hitting Den Haag in the Netherlands. We're hitting Prague, we're hitting Slovakia. Uh, very excited, I'm gonna have my modular on stage with them just making fucking crazy sound. Same thing I did with Covenant a few weeks ago. And I'll also be leaving in the middle of that tour to do a solo gig at Trezor Berlin, so catch you there maybe. Uh, really excited for all of that. As always, thanks for tuning in. So if you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out my Patreon. There's also gonna be affiliate links in the pinned comment and video description where you can sign up for DistroKid if you wanna distribute your music. I get a kickback from that. If you wanna buy some gear, Perfect Circuit, anything, even a cable, I get a kickback from that. Check out those links. Check out my Bandcamp. Check out my artists on my label Megastructure. There's more releases coming soon of that. Check out my Patreon. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe here. And reviews will resume once I'm back from tour so catch you guys later see you next time peace out